And here is your question. All right, so if you have read and understood, consider engaged communication skills question, kindly begin. Hello, good Hi. evening. Good evening, doctor. Uh, my, my candidate number is uh, 356 and I'm a surgical doctor working for Mr. Mann. Can I please confirm your name and age? Yes, I'm Paul Smith, 55 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. Smith. I understand you are a patient of Mr. Mann? Yes. Okay, and you are scheduled to undergo a procedure called an esophageal gastrodidinoscopy or an OGD? Yes, doctor. Yes, I've been asked to speak to you regarding this procedure and take your consent for this procedure. So can I proceed? Okay, it's fine. All right, before I proceed, could you please tell me what do you know so far about this procedure? And I was in hospital two weeks ago. Uh, I've been having some problem with my um, swallowing. So, mm -hmm. and they did some tests. They said uh, they saw uh, that my uh, something is narrowed. So, because of that, they said that they want to do for that. So that's why I'm here today. Okay. So uh, do you know, do you have any idea about what this OGD procedure is like? Mm, they said they will put something through my mouth and then down to food pipe and then they will look and do and see whatever is causing the problem. Um, yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Um, so let me uh, explain to you in details what this procedure is. So uh, it is called OGD, endoscopy. It is an endoscopic procedure. So we are going to be inserting a tube structure inside your mouth. And then, do you know what it is? It's a part of your gut. So uh, we're yeah. going to see a little bit of that too. So uh, there's going to be a camera at the end of this tube and uh, which will relay the image. Okay, oh. doctor. All right. And while we are passing down, we, uh, we, uh, because there is a narrowing in your food pipe, it's going to also dilate that narrowing. Yes. And uh, we will uh, sample from the anywhere from this part that we see uh, and we will send that sample for testing so that we can understand what actually is causing your these problems. Do you, are you following me? Yes, I'm following. Okay, doctor. Uh, will I be awake when you are doing this? I'm having pain? Uh, actually, we are going to uh, spray a local anesthesia um, and numb your anesthesia? inside of the mouth. It's, it's a, it's an option that we are going to give you to numb the inside of your mouth. Yes. So when okay. we are going to insert that, you're not going to feel any pain. Also, you're going to be uh, put under the deep sleep. So you won't feel a thing. And okay. ho hopefully it won't be discomfort for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it, it, this procedure, is there any risk, doctor? Uh, Mr. Thomas, it's actually a medical procedure. And uh, like all other medical procedures, this also comes with some risk. Like, uh, let me just list them for you, but don't be afraid. I'm going to be listing them. Does not really mean that they will happen. Uh, these risks are like when we are inserting this tube, 
through your mouth. They could be like, it could be injury to your gum, to your teeth or to your palate. And then uh, because, you know, we're introducing something foreign inside your body, it should uh, have a chest infections and there could be chance that they could be bleeding. One important risk that we are usually looking out for is a tear in your food pipe. Now, oh. if that happens, we'll need a surgical intervention. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh I understand. My food pipe, uh, you might I be don't want very to drink scared. it. Oh, no, no, Mr. To Thomas. It. I understand that uh, just because I'm listing this risk does not mean that will happen. And you see the complication that I told you of, it just happens one in a thousand cases. And okay. Mr. Man, who will be doing this uh, procedure for you, he's quite skillful. So you can rest assured that we're just going to be listing them just to make you aware that these could happen, but they won't necessarily happen. But okay. uh, we will advise you to go for this uh, procedure because uh, this procedure, we are going to be able to get a, a sample, a tissue sample, which we will send for testing. And then we can, you know, properly diagnose uh, your symptoms. Okay, okay. When will the result of this uh, sample be out? Uh, usually the results are available within two weeks time frame. But if they're available sooner, then we will uh, we will inform you. Okay, okay, okay. Have you seen my results that I told you I did? Uh, what do you think that uh, is there? Actually, I haven't seen them yet. I will uh, look through your files once I'm uh, done talking to you, yes? Oh, oh, you've not seen it, okay. But doctor, I'm I'm salivating too much. You see, all my saliva are coming. I I finish a roll of tissue in a day, collecting my saliva um, and throwing it. It's, it's the, I'm really really getting depressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, it must be quite uncomfortable for you. Uh, but you see, it's happening because of the narrowing in your food pipe. You see, normally uh, when you would salivate, it would just go down to your tummy. But because of that narrowing, it's getting regurgitated in your mouth. So, you know, you're often salivating. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Is there anything any else you would question. like to ask me? No, I don't have any other question. All right. So if there eating is anything around the that I have missed, fluidity, you have to ask about the eating. Okay. Yes. When can I can I eat the morning of the this day I'm coming for the procedure? Because I like okay, taking so... a sandwich. Uh, okay, so it actually depends on the time of your uh, appointment. You see, if your procedure is scheduled to be in the morning, then you can have your normal uh, midnight uh, dinner and then uh, we will advise you not to have anything after that. And two hours prior to your procedure, you can have sips of water and then nothing else. But if you're having that in the afternoon, then you can have a light breakfast till 8 a.m. And then uh, you can uh, continue to have sips of water until two hours prior to your procedure are you following me yes i'm, I'm with you but also my doctor gave me a drug he said a drug for my hypertension can i use it in the morning or i should not take the drug also uh, uh could you please tell me what the name of the drug is he's um amiodarone just from the hypertension that i have oh yes you can take that okay i can take that okay all right Okay. With uh, with uh, sips of water, you can take that. Uh, is right. there anything else you would like to ask? No. Check the understanding. Uh, is there anything I have missed? No, you've no. told me why you are doing the test, and you've told me that uh, I should not eat in the morning of the okay. surgery, but I can take my drug with just a sip of water, and that oh, nice. uh, Dr. Man is going to do it very well, and that yes. most of those complications yeah. will not occur. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to also add that while uh, on the day of the procedure, uh, it would be best for you to bring somebody to accompany you back home. You see, because you'll be put under sedation and, you know, you will be under deep sleep. So it wouldn't be wise for you to drive back home. Oh, yeah. And also we advise you not to actually have any hot drinks at least six hours after the procedure because, you know, we'll give that uh, medication to numb your mouth. You could maybe burn yourself while drinking hot drinks. Are you with oh. me? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay uh, Mr. Thomas, I would like to summarize our conversation with you. 
Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, okay, so I've explained to you that an OGD is an endoscopic procedure and that, uh, you know, I have explained to you why we are doing this and also the risks that are associated with this. I have explained to you when you will be able to take food again. And is there anything else you would like to ask me? No, doctor, no other question. All right, thank you so much for your time. And if you could now sign the form for me. Good. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Okay, yes. Time was also over. Good. Yes. Any questions? Here, um, a patient will ask you if, when you are giving out the risks and patient speaks yes, out and says, no, 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 no. Is there any other alternative? Mm -hmm. And then you can also yes. say that the alternative you've yes. already done and that was something that we have to do the yes oh, no, no, no. Oh. To, okay yes so that's the only thing which has been okay. but otherwise it's nice everything has been covered very good